the spine is one continuous structure all the way from the neck down to the tailbone. And what happens is, if you're stiff through the upper back, it forces the neck or the lower back to move more to make up for the slack. So take a look to the left. If she's lacking any mobility through here, she's going to have to over rotate through the neck. Whereas if she had some mobility through that upper back, it would take strain off of the neck. Same thing with if she tries to rotate from the low back. So rotate through the low back. If she tries to twist all the way like this, and her upper back and mid back doesn't want to cooperate, her low back is going to have to over rotate, and it can put her at risk for irritation and injury. So why don't you lay down here? I'm going to show you just one maneuver we used to help rotate the upper back, and it's something you can do at home too. So you start with your knees up at your hip height, so you create a 90 degree angle, arms straight ahead, and then you just rotate the top arm over and bring your chest up towards the ceiling and come on back again. And do it nice and controlled. Yep. So what she's doing here, by keeping her knees up, it's kind of locking her low back out so that she's not going to rotate through there and all the motion has to come through here. Go ahead, try again. At the end of the movement, you just point your chest all the way towards the ceiling, feel the pull in there, the stretch, and then come back again. This is a great one to try at home. You could do about 10, 15 reps of it, and then switch sides.